Hey everyone, GoBotch here, back today with another college football revamped episode here for our Razorback Dynasty here in our second season. The Razorbacks right now are still one of the elite teams in the country. The defending champs are 5-0, and number 9 in the league currently in the uh, football uh, championship series. So right now... Um, we got. A t I think this is going to be a, an underrated kind of tough game. We got Coastal Carolina. They're four zero. They're not bad. They're actually a pretty decent team. You see, you know, they, they had a good win against uh, some some decent teams overall, and they got a tough schedule overall as well. I mean, you look at this next gauntlet they got to go up against, starting with Fayetteville. Uh, this should be a fun one, y'all. If you enjoy the episode, as always, though, as we get into today's action, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, feel free to join here in the GoBotch family, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So we're on the road to our first 20,000 subscribers, ladies and gents. So we're going to make them wear their all whites out there today. We got our Cardinal red. There's no new recruiting news. Um, there's still some people that are we're, we're right there on the border of. So I'm hoping after this game here today, assuming we get a big win, that we will uh, be able to land some of these guys. So again, we got the number one halfback recruit in the country, Matt Kennedy, coming to today's game. So I really want the ground game to be uh, a big proponent of today's game overall. Um, but we got to slow down McCall, that 93 overall quarterback. They've got, they got good players, man. This, I mean, it's raining. Oh boy. This should be a fun one. This should be a fun one. But, uh, again, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of our, that's a glitch. It's got a, he's got a Coastal Carolina helmet in his hands. Uh, but let me know what y'all think of the series. Let me know if you're excited for some new content coming very soon here in, uh, in April, we have... MLB The Show coming out on Xbox for the first time ever. So you're going to be seeing a Texas Rangers franchise series along with a um, a uh, Road to the Show career mode character as well. So lots of great content coming and staying true and through here with our college football revamp. We're still going to be doing our uh, Madden series with the, with, the, with the Cowboys. So lots of great content. Here we go. Getting underway. Razorbacks looking to start their season 6-0. and oh. Coastal Carolina looking to play spoiler and show everybody that they are a legit squad. They are a legit team. And they do have, at least from the paper right there, they, they have a legit quarterback and running back. Two impact players to get started up against here. So let's get going. We're going to go the read option. And McCall takes it. And again, with uh, what we're using, what we're doing, we're not switching players. We're still doing that. We're still using some new sliders, which uh, there's not a link to the sliders. I just had, I had a picture that was screenshot and sent to me. I'll have to maybe put those into a document of some sort later and share those so everybody knows. And uh, second down, they go down. Oh, and it's incomplete. Off the hands of the halfback. Brings up a third and seven, and we're gonna bring a fire, a Foxfire zone blitz here. Okay, kind of, you know, gonna see what we can do here. Carter, we're gonna go here. They're empty backfield, and they're gonna. He called his own number. Grace McCall goes nowhere. It was a designed draw, QB draw, and it went nowhere. Bumper pull was on the play in a hurry. And it's a three and out for Coastal Carolina. Razorback defense does their job very well. Georgia's destroying Tennessee down below. Uh oh. Oh, oh, I see you. I see you, Greg Brooks. All right, so Traylon Smith, he's been something special. Uh, he very well may be going to the draft after this season. I wouldn't be shocked to see that, to be honest with you guys. So uh, we're, we're going to get it going. We know we got our guy, our... Uh, Je uh, we got Jefferson here, KJ. And KJ takes off, gets a huge gain of 15 up the middle on the read. Um, now, I do apologize, y'all. I've been really busy this last week, so I didn't get a lot of uploads up. Um, I know it's been like four or five days, I feel like, since I've really got anything uploaded. But uh, I'm on vacation right now for the week, so I'll be able to hopefully have content up every day of the week, every weekday up this week. And then, um, yeah, trying to get con content caught up a little bit. Ooh, they are up in us here. We're going to go with the play action here. Test the arm. Test the arm here today. There's Knox. Caught. Touchdown. Let's go. 31-yard reception. And uh, KJ with his first pass of the day. It's a test, and he aced it. He aced it. Beautiful ball. 
right over there to to, to Knox and uh, perfect perfect possession. Couldn't ask for it to go any better. And Wu Pig, we're on top. Early seven zero. Texas upsets Oklahoma in the Red River rivalry. Wow, both teams now with two losses. That actually helps us. Our schedule look tougher because we beat Texas to start the season. So that's going to help us, I think, in the long run in terms of strength of schedule. It looks a little bit better for us, maybe, maybe. Beat a top 10 Oklahoma squad. So let's keep, let's go cover one. And okay. that good out on the right. Got to go ground and they're going to bounce outside. And right there is tackled by Henry. Bring up a second down and five. And Ohio State run through Northwestern, 42-7. to seven. Ohio State, top three in the country. Just to watch the bubble here or whatever they're doing, the option. Yep, perfect. White breaks one, runs the second tackle there with uh, Clark on the tackle. Lots of space for him to run, man. They destroyed us on that play. They destroyed us. Dual backs here. And they go read, and they're going to go the option again. Second time in a row they run this. This time they go to the left instead of the right. So, bring up a second down and eight. Hmm. Show blitz. Show blitz. And they go right off the Beasley. Beasley breaks one, gets the first. What is happening? It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding the turnover. So the I gotta call a booth review. I, uh, I don't care. I mean, I, I, actually, I do care. If he was down, if he was down, then that may be a third and short instead of a first down, right? Was he down? Yeah, his knee's down. So he that shouldn't be a fumble. So it may be a third and one. Florida's destroying LSU. So plays reversed, and that makes it a it's still first and ten. Well, whatever. Didn't help us one bit. That's unfortunate. I thought it was going to help us right there, but it didn't. But it didn't. I'll get to the quarterback. Get down there. Get down there. Good Catalan. Catalan was a huge star for us last season. If y'all remember, he was just all over the field. This year, it's been a little bit, a little bit less Catalan. Um. Oh, yeah, throw that away. Throw that away. He's not comfortable out there in the pocket at all today, y'all. He really isn't. We're bringing the blitz again, man. Third and six. I know this is risky coming with a blitz like this, but I'm trusting this defense. Do their thing. What's he doing? He's bu bubbling around. Screen pass. Wait, there's a sack. Let's go. Let's go. The defense for the Razorbacks again. Dorian Gerald that time on for the sack. With his first tackle of the game. Whoop, hey, we're on going. And so far, the defense for the Razorbacks are looking pretty sharp here today. Uh, they've shown that they can be an elite style of defense at times. Terrible return. It's on me. That's okay, though. So it's a uh, first down hogs. With the ball up seven nothing, four fifteen left here in the opening frame, the opening quarter, and uh, I like what I see with Burks here, out in the slot. You see that? You see that? Burks just blow by him. I should have put a little bit more gusto on that ball. That's on me. My bad. All right, let's go with a let's go dive up the gut. Johnson, the freshman. And we're turning, we're 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 trying to bring back Arkansas to a running back university here. Or you know, you remember the days of Darren McFadden? You remember when we had you know, Aiden Hillis? I mean, there's so many guys that we've had run through here. Alex Collins, Jonathan Williams, and company. Arkansas has never been shy to have, you know, great running back talent here. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep that the case here. I, I would love to see Arkansas continue to bring in these top arc, these top running back recruits. We already have Johnson here. We have Traylon Smith. We're looking to bring in that number one recruit potentially, right? Jefferson with a nice play fake. 
Yeah, I got the first. 12 yards there on those legs. KJ gets it done. Another thing I am trying to develop here with this team is I do want to develop a very powerful defense. And I think we're on the right track there. I think we are missing a few pieces here and there, but overall. Oh, why would you not get skinny on that route? I thought he was going to keep going towards the left. I got lucky that wasn't picked. Very fortunate that didn't get picked off because that should have been. That very much should have been picked. Very lucky. And I don't know if we're going to get the blocks we need on this. Let's see. Johnson picked up five. Third and five upcoming. Man, uh, Iowa State shut out. Destroyed Oklahoma State. 48-0. Big 12 looking a little bit beaten up this year. They're beating each other up this year. Knox has already had a touchdown reception today. That time picks up a 10-yard gain on a screen pass. And uh, two receptions for 41 yards. We're, we're looking pretty good out there with him today. Looking pretty dang good out there with him today. And Smith's going to just go up the middle. He picks up a decent chunk of yards there. Makes it a second down and four for the Razorbacks. Three of five passing is KJ today to start in the opening frame. And uh, we're, we're, we're doing pretty good overall. I'm happy with this. Happy with the performance. KJ again felt like last year he was robbed of a Heisman. I do think he had numbers that were good enough to be Heisman, plus the, the way the team performed. But the picks were a little bit high, in my opinion. Deep ball, it out there. Underthrown. Speaking of picks... I didn't throw it early enough. That was the problem. It was open. It was open, but it was open two seconds before. So that's on me. Bad ball. Touchback taken. Can't be having those if I want to stay and be a successful ball club here. Well, that's all right, though. We'll, 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 we'll look, burn through it. The defense is playing well enough. I don't think we're going to... I mean, we'll see. This quarterback may come alive any time now. We'll see. But uh, right now, I feel pretty comfortable. Even though I threw that pick. Oh, yeah. Bumper pulls there. Bumper pulls there. Sorry, Grayson. You're not having a very strong start. Not today. Not today. Third and 14. It's loud here in Fayetteville. Crowd is getting pumped up. Defensive showing out here by the Hog defense. And he checks it down to likely. And it's a... Uh, so they get a few Not likely he got the first down. Fourth and ten, and again, another stop by the Razorback defense. We'll get that ball back, and now have a chance to go back downfield and try to um, expand our lead. Should have done it last drive, but I threw that stupid pick. My bad. Man, I just can't get the... The punter's not very good, but I mean, we're just not being able to get really good returns out of it right now. Let's try a little jet sweep. Who we bring on this? Is it a good one? Okay. Give me some blocks here, baby. Finding ways to try to get good one more touches in this offense. The uh, freshman tight end that pretty dang good, if you ask me. Um, solid guy, solid player. Running, I'm following you, following you. Oh, I thought Smith was going to take off upfield. <laughs> he did not. And I have been reading some of the comments. Some of you saying, well, Gobot, you would be a lot better at quarterback if you quit rolling right out of the pocket. Quit running out of the pocket. It's just a habit. I've done it every time I played Madden or college football. Rolling right, rolling out of the pocket is a very consistent thing that I do. Um, it's going to take a lot of time and practice to, to get used to standing in the pocket more. It's just not something I'm completely comfortable with. I'm going to be honest with you guys. But I'm going to work on it. I'm going to try not to roll as much. There's Woods. Eight-yard reception there from Mike Woods. Um, pretty good receiver himself. Obviously, he's no, he's not, he's not a Traylon Burks in my opinion. Burks is an elite guy. Woods is a really good compliment to him. As is Knox. The hit as I threw. Let's go to the read option. No, well, that's what happens. KJ, he's, he got his, he can do his thing. 
Give me the block. Give me the block. Let's go. KJ with a 19-yard option run. Takes it into the end zone. The Razorbacks will expand upon our first quarter lead. 14-0 if we hit this. And it is up and through. So 14-0. Razorbacks lead in Florida. Good Lord. Florida looks dangerous. Florida's looking dangerous this year. The SEC, as always, never easy. Never easy. So uh, we'll see what comes. I mean, again, I told you guys this season I thought we were going to be able to be competitive again in the SEC. I did think that some of the teams like Alabama and all would not be as hit and miss as they were last year. And so far, that's, that's reigning true. I think we have three or four top ten SEC teams, with us included. Bama's right there. Florida's there. And I think there may be another one. I may be wrong. But that's going to do it for the first quarter here. Right now, Razorbacks on top. It is 14-0. And it's KJ to Knox there to get going. And then the scrambling touchdown. Whoop in. All right. So second and three. Second quarter. Second quarter. The Pac-12's got some heavy hitters this year, too, again. Oh, read option. Perfect. Perfect call. He, makes it he didn't get it. His knee went down before he crossed that ball over the threshold there. So it's a third and inches. I expect run fully. They're going to press up in coverage. I expect it. I expect it. I expect it. And even though I expect it, don't mean we stopped it. Good game there by Shermari Jones. Shermari Jones. Shermari. 12 rushes to four passes. I didn't know they were this focused as a run team. Shocked. Oh, yeah, you're not going anywhere there, so not anywhere. I need to start doing more QB spies, I think. More spy plays. That time bumper pulls there on the play. No gain. Third down. And a long way to go here for... For Coastal Carolina. You spy. Chunking it deep. Clark. You just got mossed. Aaron Bedgood destroyed you. 49 yard completion there. And again, I didn't I can't switch because it's user. It's, I mean, I'm not. It's part of my house rules. I, I want the game. I want my players to make plays on defense outside of me. And they didn't right there. Dead good just made a good play over Clark. And uh, it's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Likely to catch there. Six yards. Third and six. They're in the red zone here. So they got a chance to put points on the board regardless of what happens on this next play. Third and six now. And that was the biggest play they've had today as well, man. Eight. Frustrates me. Over the middle, caught. Nobody's even in that zone. Easy touchdown catch there for Reese White. And uh, Coastal Carolina's on the board, maybe finding a little bit of a groove after that huge third down completion. Maybe that will spark this offense out there for Coastal Carolina. But hopefully, our offense has something to say about that and we can uh, get that touchdown right back, right? So that's what we're going to try to do. Arizona State upsets number seven USC. That's going to shake things around a little bit there. It's fine by me, too. Don't get caught. Dang it. I got bumped up on him right there. All right, so first and 10 for the Hogs. We are leading by a touchdown. But Coastal Carolina made a one-possession score. So There's Woods. Ooh. Good 17-yard stab at it right there. The defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous pores by making a good Let's see if they're backed off here. We're going to go to Burks on this. <laughs> the juke. Nine yards from Burks. That was filthy. Filthy. We got tripped up a little bit there. We're gonna keep tempo. I like the I like the momentum we have going on this drive currently. 
But with that said, I do want to go with a little play action look here. See if we can hit Burks coming across the middle on this, maybe. I hit as I threw, and it caused that bar, the ball to come out a little funky. A little bit funky. That's okay, though. So, second down and 10 after the incompletion. They are loaded in the box on me, man. I don't like that at all. Play action. No. Let's go right here with this. Tanking a deep shot. I thought we were going to try to rise up to catch that ball, but Knox did not. And that did not go the way I was envisioning. Took a look at it, though. They come out on an empty backfield. Hot by Catalan, first down hogs. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. Nice completion. Nice conversion. Um let's go drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Over the middle. Good one with a catch. First down and goal. 21 yards there from the freshman tight end. His first catch of the game. It's 21 yards now. There we go, baby. There we go. 8 of 14 now passing from KJ in this first half. Johnson in the game now here. Johnson stopped at the two. Stopped at the two. Fourth rush today. Let's go with another dive. Boom. Let's go, baby. Brenton Johnson, another touchdown run for him this season. That's his third, I think. Maybe fourth. I'm not quite sure. But uh, nonetheless, the Razorbacks get back that touchdown. And we'll expand the lead back up to 14 again. So, good score. Good drive. Ooh, pig. Now the defense needs to step up and make some big plays. That's what I'm waiting to see. I want to see this defense be opportunistic and uh, make some plays. Make some plays out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen. We'll cover two. It was a pretty one-sided. We'll cover two here. I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Oh, jump it! Oh, I thought we were going to jump that ball. Dang it! Bring a blitz here. Second down, twelve. Six of eight passing from the call. It's not like they've been bad passing. It's just they haven't passed very much at all. Run up the middle. White gets seven. Wow. Wowza. Good run. Bring up a third down and five now for Coastal Carolina. Over the middle. Caught. First down from McFarland. Michael McFarland with the catch, nine yards, and Coastal Carolina continues the drive. First and ten. Ball on the forty-yard line. One hundred sixteen yards total offense out there for Coastal Carolina. We're going with the option. And good lord, Catalan just destroyed the quarterback there. He had no chance to even try anything. His fifth tackle already today. Very nicely done. Two fifty-five left here in the half. Cover one coverage here. Up the middle, he breaks through, and he's off to the races here. Boucher forces him out, but not before it. Reese White with a 23-yard run. Now it's five rushes for 45 yards. So talking about being efficient, uh, he's being every bit that today. Efficient indeed, and the rate roll now. Play action, caught by Brown. Montero Brown with a pick, and it's the first takeaway for the Razorback defense here today. A very forced pass. Uh, he had he had Razorbacks all over him, and he forced it. Tried to thread a needle. No sir, not happening. Not today. Not today. Oh yes sir, give me this one. Oh, I had Knox. I had Knox. I was getting ready to press square to him. Nice job there from Kelly. The sixth tackle already today. 
He's been busy out there, hasn't he? He's been pretty busy out there today. So second down and a long way to go for the Razorbacks here. And uh, we're going to just try to get something going here with the read option. Okay, we'll get it back to, what, third and nine? Reasonable. Reasonable. It's only Traylon Smith. I mean, he, he's only run it a few times today. From their own 32-yard line. All right, third, third and ninth. He's gonna try and scramble. Go field, go field. Go. Fire Give me that block. Burks. Oh, the juke back. Filthy. I want y'all to look at this double move over here. Burks did at the end of that play. Show me the double move. Show me the double move right here. Where is it? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. We got him to cut back one and then go back to the other. <laughs> what a play. What a play. Padalons in. Caught by Mike Woods. Perfect ball. Touchdown, Hogs. AJ's playing pretty dang well today, y'all. They went underneath. They went underneath the Catalan. We put that ball over there. We had we had Woods by three, four steps. Easy. 28-7 against Coastal Carolina. South Carolina, 4-1. and one. They were a team that we had to beat twice last year. We beat them in regular. Or no, they beat us. No, we beat them in the regular season. And then uh, we beat them in the college football playoff as well. So, Hogs looking pretty good today. I thought Coastal Carolina would be a little bit more challenging, but I guess defensively they're not really a powerhouse. They they focus a lot on the run game with White and the call, and so far they haven't been able to do too terrible much against us. If there's anything that Arkansas is really good at, it's rush defense. Our rush defense is one of the top in the country. And that's their strength here at Coastal Carolina, from all it seems. And we've been able to shut it down. So it's strength against strength here. We're winning that battle today. Big time. Screen pass. Henry stops him. He gets one yard on the play. We can live with one yard and gains. Nothing too scary there. But we're going to keep the man coverage. 57 seconds left. I'm not calling a timeout. Live and die by it right here. You taking it all the way down? That's fine. Somebody jumped early down there. And it's a false start. Ha! Too many, too many, uh, trying to get us a jump there, and that's what you get. That's what you get. So now it's a third and 13. Really shakes things up a little bit there for him. So we're going to go at the strong safety over low three. Let's cover three low here. The strong safety coming down. That's Catalan for you. I'm going to run, and I'm going to bounce, and we're going to call timeout. I am not opposed to making it a 35 7 game and a half. Again, coming off last game, the last episode, we had a really nice competitive game. This one right here is kind of a brush. A breath of fresh air for us to kind of come out here and be able to showcase what we're all about. You know what I mean? So Traylon, we haven't carried it very much with him in the first half. Listen, that's going to change. Second half, he's going to get his chances, his opportunities. We're just focused right now on passing a little bit more. We'll get the we'll get the ground game going. Burks with the catch, first down. Let's go. 11 yard stab. They can't stop us right now. They can't stop our air game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Caught by Henry. I mean, you, you see what I'm saying? They can't stop our air game. They don't have the, the guys to come out here and try to contend with us. They don't. Period. They don't. <laughs> what a half. I mean, destroying them. They don't have they don't have the defense. They have a pretty good left end out there that's brought some damage to us today, but their secondary, their linebacker core, not not able to contend. 35 to 7. We may be able to super sim a quarter today. Fourth quarter may be a super sim quarter, baby. And again, I always tell you guys, when we get the chance to super sim, it's a reward. It's a, it's something we earn. 
this first half has been. Right now, this is college football. Burning. No matter what the score is, dang well. Adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. The call again. They're just, they're so ground centric. They want to run. They want to run. They want to run. And right now, it's just not going to work. They're going to have to get that ball going through the air if they want to do anything to us. Thirty-five-seven at the half. But whooping. All right. So second half here, we're going to get ready to receive the ball and keep this offense just rolling, 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 rolling. He'll take it from the two. Ah. Uh, oh. He kept his feet. He kept. Oh, he fumbled it at the end there. So here's our drives. Nothing. Touchdown, 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 touchdown. I mean, we are just moving and grooving. And now we are going to try to get the ground game going a little bit more in the second half here. I want Traylon and company to play really well in the second half for me. I tried to juke. It didn't do it. It's fine. Second and inches. We're going to go with a. Flip it. And I'm just trying to get him going. I mean, we have 130 yards rushing. Six for 47 out there today for him. We'll play action. Why not? Jefferson on play action. Deep. Why am I playing dumb? You've got a huge lead. Shut up, Kurt. I deserve it, I know. I deserve it, I know. It's my bad. I guess still, they're still trying to run. You're not going to get it on me. It's not going to happen. And yes, I know I should have thrown that pick. I should have uh, kept the run game going. But it said it was a setup play, and I wanted to run it, and I threw a bad ball. Threw a bad ball to begin with. Live and learn. Play better next time. Oh, oh, he's taking off. Nine, nine yard gain there on the ground for McCall. Third and four now for Coastal Carolina. And uh, we're going to keep keep bringing it at him. Keep bringing it at him. Okay. Uh, yeah. Definitely be a little bit of a spy out here, maybe. Potentially wide open. Caught. Nobody over there. Dion Fon Fountain. Dion Fountain. I was wanting to say Fontaine. Bioshock, anybody? Bioshock. So, first down and 10. Oh, my goodness. Fouché came in. Was that Fouché? Yeah, it was. He came in untouched, un, 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 un period. Easy play. Second and 17. And we're really just trusting our guys out here. One-on-one -on -one coverage a lot of the time. Seeing if they can do their thing. Oh, he threw it and incomplete. Incomplete. Third down and long. 17 now. And uh, we're just going to keep the same coverage. We're going to keep man coverage out there. Bring the linebacker blitz, which will expose the open side of the field and middle side of the field here. And he caught it. First down. Brooks. Touchdown. 10, 5. He scores. Hey. I'll clap for y'all right there. Way to way to get way to way to thread a needle with pressure in your face and way to break two tackles and get a touchdown. I'll give credit to them for that. And they finally they finally made me pay for uh, bringing the heat. They finally made me pay for bringing all the heat. Uh, so it's a touchdown right there for Coast Carolina. 5:44 left here in the quarter. Now we need to go down there. We need to run it down your throats. Brooks, that was not a good play for me. I'm very upset with the way Brooks just played on that play. 35 yard return though and look at he looks like he's been through a war out there today looks like he's been through a war no I couldn't the first rule on offense is to take care of the football these guys need to remember that on this drive flip it back here for Johnson Only five yards. It felt like I should have been able to have more there on that one. Six rush, 32 yards for him today. Let's go halfback dive now. And again, we're balanced. We have 20 passes to 19 rushes. It's not like we've been just pass, 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 pass. It's, it's more balanced than it, I guess, appears statistically. Third and two. I'm going to go tempo on this and go read option. Come on. Let's go read option. Where is it? Come on. 
Do I not have it? Okay, here we go. It's KJ up the middle, 12 yards. First down, Razorbacks. Ooh, pig. He has 64 yards on the ground today. 384 all-purpose yards for this offense out there today as well. Johnson staying in the game here for the Hogs. Should have went through the gap right there, but I didn't. That's fine. That's fine. So second down and seven upcoming now for the Razorback offense. We're going to go a little sweep pass, or sweep run. Go a little sweep run here for, for Traylon Smith. Try to get him some yards going here. Oh, they're bringing that safety. Dang it. I did not see him. I did not see that until the last second. Perfect play call. Perfect play call on that. He came downhill as soon as I set Hut. And uh, he destroyed us right there. Not what I wanted to see. But here we go. Second down. Or third down. Rolling out. Rolling out to the right side. Tries to get around the corner. Wow. And he's taken down There's a flag. The flag on the play. Let's see what it is. <laughs> Mike Woods, you screwed it up. You screwed it all up. Because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third, third and 11 down. now. Need to get it inside the 41. Where are you going? Why'd you run backwards? That pissed me off. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Why'd you run backwards? Makes zero sense. Nobody told you to run backwards. That's returnable, and that's not a good kick at all. Oh, he, he muffed it. Ooh, fortunate. Fortunate. For return man is of the utmost importance. The main thing is they got the ball back and now they can go to so, the they had a touchdown last drive out. Our team right now on offense is struggling a little bit. Can we settle it down? We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Up. Call with another 12 yard run. I should always load up the side that the quarterback's on. That's what I'm going to start doing now. I'm going to go double bullet A. And, okay, this is going to definitely be a pass. I'm going to press coverage here. Oh, my goodness, almost picked. They went with the screen, a bubble, and we dropped it. We dropped what should have been a for sure pick six. Oh, you can't let those pass through your fingertips right there. Never. And they may be doing another screen here. They may be doing another screen here. Let's see. They're running it. Nowhere to go from the call. Third sack of the game for the Hogs. First for uh, for Nichols today, and brings up a third and eleven. We've been in this situation before earlier. I'm gonna load up the side of the quarterback here. Ooh, did I jump? Again, again. Frustrating. Frustrating conversions, man. I know it's because I'm leaving the middle of the field open right there, but still, man to man coverage, we should be able to win those battles more times than not. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And right now, they're just running it down our throats. I'm a little bit frustrated. A little bit angry. A little bit angered by this. Ready for the read option. Nope. Okay, he's running outside tackle. I mean, right now, our defense looks tired. They look soft. I'm not very happy with the way we're playing in the second half at all, defensively. Um, just, I feel like they got a number all of a sudden. Like, all of a sudden, they came to play, and we have not. Read option again. Quarterback keeper, he may be gone. Nope. Okay, QB spy everything. QB spy everything. Just QB spy. That's all I'm going to do. QB line. spy. It's first down. Brooks is there, makes a hit. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. A lot of zone on this. Let's see what we get. 
Second and nine. And it's a run. It's a... All right. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good okay, we we all of a sudden don't know how to tackle. Two possession game. Uh, is this the the football karma is catching up on me? Me trash talking and say this game was over. We have the glitch down there at the bottom. He's to the twenty. Good run. All right, so. We have not had a good second half thus far. We have not been able to destroy this secondary and this run. I mean, we're trying to get the ground game going more, establish a run game a little bit, but uh, that's not working out super well. Mm, second and five. Go the QB blast up the gut. And come on. Nobody got him. At about the 35. Hey, come on. 35 yard line. It's third down. Come on. Quick out to his receiver. Good job there from Trey Knox. He's been money today, hasn't he, fellas? He's been something something really good. Third catch today from him. Picks up nine. Good. And that should take us to the end of the third here, and it will. So at the end of three, Hogs lead 35-21, but Coastal Carolina dominated that third quarter with some good defense and even better offense. All right, fourth quarter of play here from Fayetteville. Coastal Carolina showing us that they actually are a little bit better than I thought. They're playing a lot better second half so far, football overall. Been very impressed by what I've seen. Uh, Nine-yard gain there from Brent Johnson. First down, Razorbacks. His ninth rush, 47 yards, and a touchdown today. Now going back to Smith. I told you guys this is what I wanted to do. The second half, I wanted to get the ground game established a little bit more here. Eight-yard run there by Smith. What's he got today now? 65 yards on 10 game, uh, 10, 10 yards, or 10 rushes. Good Lord, I can't talk. That is not what I want to see. Let's go play action pass. Setting up the play action. Nothing's open. We're going to take off running. And slide. And slide. Beautifully done. Didn't see anything I liked necessarily there. So we give it up. From the 14 yard line. First down. KJ Jefferson makes it a first and goal for the Razorbacks. 93 yards today for him. We're at play nine Through the ground, on the ground. First and goal, Razorbacks. On the ground with the and Smith edges it out. First touchdown for the day for him. 41 points now for the Razorback offense today. The speedster. And we're going to make it 42 as it goes through. That should be the nail in the coffin here, but we got to, this defense has got to make a stop here. Can't let them go down and get an easy touchdown drive. Let's see what we can get done. Let's see what we can get done. Virginia loses to Miami, 27-24. All right, here we go. Here we go. Number one, Florida won their game against LSU, man. Number one, Florida. Wowza, wowza. Oh, jump it. Oh. Loss of three out there to East White. 12 of 17 passes, passing-wise. I'm ready for your read option nonsense right here, baby. I'm ready for it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Screen pass. Oh, he got sacked. Nichols came through right there. No, that was Carter. Never mind. Carter came through right there. Beautifully done. And here we go, another third down. Third, a long way to go. Indiana, number four in the country. They're being tested by number 13, Michigan. Keep an eye on that one. Over the middle, caught by Bedgood, but not going to get the first down. Not going to get the first down. Hogs stop him. Fourth down and 10, and they're going to boot it away. They're going to boot it away. 
Number five, Oregon playing Utah right now. Upset alert. Who's who's this? Kentucky and South Carolina. And nobody. Golly. So teamwork makes the dream work. Here you see uh it's not been the passing game instead. We've been balanced. I may not have any hundred yard rushers today, but we're very balanced running pass today overall. Very balanced. He's tackled at the 43. 49 yards from Brent Johnson today now. And we're gonna go uh adjustments. Conservative. Chew that clock up a little bit. Get this game over with. Ah. Got 17 yards there on the on the on the run play. 66 yards now today from Brent Johnson. Now, broke from the word go. Broke, broke, broke. Didn't get what we wanted there. They're ready for the read option. They are very ready for the read option. 91 yards for KJ after that loss. Two straight plays of garbage. Not very good. Not very good on those, that, those two plays right there. So, KJ, two straight losses. Third and 13. Throw it away. Throw it away. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they Nothing. Really Good coverage downfield. They've had, a, they've had a much better second half defensively overall. Uh, Coastal Carolina has. He's try to cough and corner this one. Oh, that's a terrible punt. No, it's not, actually. Give me a good bounce left. Never does. It never does. So, 305 left. This game is pretty much over. Um, we just, I don't want them to score another touchdown. Don't want them to score another touchdown. You know they got to go through the air. There's a little check down. Hits bed good. Second inches now. Tempo? They got to go tempo? No? Okay. Second down. Foot away from picking up the first down. Less than three minutes in the game. Got deep coverage here, cover three. Got to roll him out, okay. Over the middle, drops and completes. Michigan's now on top of Indiana, 14 to seven. Keep an eye on it. All well, about the oh, Utah's beating Oregon as well. Give me the upsets, all the upsets. Pick it. Pick it. Oh, come on. Hands of stone. They're going for it. You know they are. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, man. Should have been another takeaway. Nice play. I love it. I love that play. They faked the fullback dive and all and just check it down over there to the... The wideout guy over there, so that worked out well. Incomplete. Brooks got his head around. Let's go. Let's go. He got he got kind of flustered in the pocket right there, it looked like to me. Got a little flustered out of the pocket. So 42 21, 221 left here in the game. Go play back here with Bumper. Nothing there. He picks up four. Clock still rolling, rolling, rolling. You got to go tempo. They will not. Man, they they don't like going hurry up. They don't like going hurry up. They don't have to. Oh, give me that. Let's go, Brown. His second of the game, right? His second. Monter Brown. Beautiful pick. And now, with a minute 51 left, we can just try to run this clock out and get this game done. We gotta get the ground game going a little bit here with Smith. He picks up he picks up a few. No timeout coming. Let's go inside zone. 
JT killing on that tackle there. So the Hogs at home today against a, a, a quality, a quality, I'll say quality uh, Coastal Carolina team. They're unbeaten coming into this game today here. First half, they didn't play very well. Second half, I thought they were a lot better, a lot more balanced overall as a team. Um, they were able to stop us defensively as well at times. So I was pretty impressed with the second half effort we saw today from Coastal Carolina. Smith with a good run to finish his day out, and that will... Should do it. That should be the last play we have to run from scrimmage here. So let's just get the thing lined up. No, we got the one run, one run, one more play. There you go. 15 yards. So he has a 10 yard run and a 15 yard run to end his day. Now has 101 yards. So there we go. We got what we wanted. That's the ball game. Woo pig. The Razorbacks win and they move on to now six and zero oh to start the year. Um, incredible start to the season, and but now it gets dramatically challenge, more challenging because from now on we play nothing but SEC competition, and that's going to be an incredible task uh, ahead. Um, we're going to see how it goes, but let's look at the stats here for the team, and then uh, we'll move on and look at the week ahead. So KJ went 15 for 23, 236 through the air, three touchdowns, two picks, which I got to improve upon that. Rushing wise, I mean, we've balanced as as can be out there. Uh, Traylon had 101 yards on a touchdown. He had KJ with 90 yards and a touchdown. Johnson with 66 yards and a touchdown. Very solid effort there. Burks led us with four catches, 78 yards and a touchdown. Then he had Knox for uh, 48, the touchdown. Woods 48 with a touchdown. Kind of balanced that around a little bit while we we passed more efficiently in the first half. Of course, we had uh, four sacks out there on the day, and then Brown, of course, had two picks. Um, very solid team effort. It's a win, Woo Pig. All right, so got the big win. Let's advance the week and see. Okay, so here's what we got coming ahead. We got at South Carolina, tough road test. At, uh, at home against Bama, then Ole Miss, then Auburn, then bye week, then Mississippi State, bye week, LSU, bye week. So we got the next four or five games are going to be really challenging for us. But I think we're good enough to win the majority of those games. The biggest tests, I think, will be Bama and Auburn. Outside of that, I think we win the rest of them easily. Um, but it scares me because all it takes, I think, this year is one loss and we're out of the picture, I think. But I could be wrong about that. I said that last year and look what happened. We found our way in the college football playoff uh, semis and we've won that and made it all the way to the championship, right? So uh, uh, there's been crazier things that have happened. So we got a plus 500 thing there. Uh, one of our recruits committed to Bama. That's no bueno. Don't want to see that. Uh, so let me just show you all really quick the recruiting phase here. I want to show you all kind of what's going on with all these guys. We are still trying to get this quarterback. That's likely not going to happen now at this point. Uh, the halfback, we are dominating on this guy. I think he is for sure ours no matter what's going to happen. Uh, looking, to, We wanted to add more receivers in, and I thought we were going to be able to get this guy here, but you see he, he committed to Bama, so we're going to remove that prospect. Uh, we're still leading this gentleman here. We're going to add some more points to him because we need that uh we're leading on this guy here we got adding more points to him we just need we need receivers we're locked out right now on this gentleman we're second on him we gotta add more points to him and we're leading on this guy so there's still a number of receivers where we should be able to to, to get um a bunch of guys that we're not going to get tackles we're locked down on this dude get him off my list uh we'll, we'll, we'll go through and we'll probably add some more dudes here soon um gosh man so many guys were just this guy committed already why are we not getting some of these dudes i just don't understand it i guess we still don't have that technically that the uh prestige that some of these other schools have man so yeah we're gonna have to fill up some more recruiting spots sometime i got five open available spots we'll look at some other things but let's look now at the main top 25 picture here okay so right now florida leads the land they're 6-0, then Ohio State, then us. We moved from ninth to third in a week. So that's an incredible jump there for the Razorbacks. Michigan now moves up from 13th to 4th. Clemson at 3-1. They are 5th. Alabama with a loss is up to 6th. Miami unbeaten now moves to 7th. Then you got Iowa State, Indiana. Auburn has now jumped in the top 10. Keep going down the line there. You see all these other teams. So, again, there's a lot of unbeaten still on the board here. A lot of undefeated teams. A lot of teams with just one loss. That's what, you know, we got to keep an eye on that because that could be a big 
thing to look at. So looking at the SEC, uh, Auburn, us, Bama are all unbeaten in the conference. So keeping an eye on those things there. Uh, SEC West, it looks like it's probably going to be Florida show as everybody else has a loss already in the conference. So keeping an eye on that. Heisman watch time. Let's take a look at this. Bigsby from Auburn, the halfback, is leading the land. Then you have Teague the third for Ohio State. Traylon Smith is in the Heisman race this year. It's all halfbacks, which is, again, I think the Heisman system in this game has always been a little bit jank. So that's probably what's going on there. But y'all, that's going to do it for this episode today for our Razorback Dynasty here in College Football Revamped. Hope you enjoyed the win. Look forward to the next episode as we go up against now unranked uh, uh, South Carolina. South Carolina, I guess they, they dropped the game to Kentucky as their second loss in the conference. We need to pick up that win today on the road next episode. Y'all, let me know what you thought. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more. Y'all have a great day. Stay blessed. Stay safe. And we'll see you back here in the next video. Y'all take it easy. <laughs>